So what would be your advice to a person going through heartbreak? The podcast, yeah. what, what benefits will uh, the, pers- the viewers get? How do, you, how do you recommend for someone to stay away from negative people? Anything in your life make you happy? What makes you look forward to like the next, the next month or the next couple of days? Do you feel excited about the steps you're taking right now? This is the outfit. I'm wearing this green little sweater, Saint, because that's what I am at the end of the blood clot. Dirt! I'm wearing these black. No one's gonna see the black leggings. It's just really the shirt. And this is the makeup. Okay, this is what this is the best I could do. I want to know someone who inspires you to do better, impact others. This is my Nana. She passed away when I was a young age. It means so much to me. She taught me what unconditional love looked like and what it felt like. I used to see her twice every month. She used to pick me up on the weekends and I felt so safe with her. I had such a chaotic home and a chaotic mother on the weekends it was fun like she she used to tell me you can get whatever you want whatever you want for dinner we're gonna eat whatever activities you want to do and she really made it a safe space for me to just be myself her like no rules and restrictions really benefited towards your life so it's not that she didn't have any rules and restrictions it was just she knew how to deal with me in a way where it was kind it was caring being caring and kind takes a huge role in your life because you are extremely caring and kind. Thank you. What naturally drew you to being more caring and kind? Why does that resonate with you so much? I think it's a big part of me. It's the caring and kindness, the big heart that I have, it's something that is just me. Like people were born, they were born with certain traits that even if they wanted to get rid of, they can't. You like to be naturally in front of the camera. What about this is your favorite thing? Like, what about it makes you want to wake up and record? I wouldn't say I naturally like to be in front of the camera. What's up, guys? Okay, I'm getting ready to film a little makeup haul for my TikTok. And I got my order. I got this box. And then I actually went in person and got me some stuff, too. I have some more on the way, but that's not for me. That's for my mom. But you know, I got the points. I got the points. Just make sure I have like a very clear background. You guys can see behind the scenes, but when it comes to like my TikTok, I have to make sure that the background is as clear as possible. This is the tripod for the mic. I swear, filming is a whole process. I understand now why these influencers get thousands and thousands of dollars. Okay, and then I have this here. Should I use it? I think it makes a difference. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're getting somewhere. Oh, not me ripping the bag. Not me ripping the bag. Oh my god. Well, I just did some damage. Okay, so I just did some damage at the Sephora sale as a karmic baddie. No. Okay. As a pay baddie after pay baddie. Get a percentage off do be do <laughs> scrubs it came with why why can't i ever be gentle lipstick because i'm grown i'm 24 i used to hate red lipstick like when i was a kid but i'd be seeing my black girls just looking so fire in red lipstick you know one girl um what's her name rihanna Rihanna, bad gal Riri. So the one thing about me is I talk a lot. So I'm learning to like filter out my words and I'm also learning to like pause myself. It's just better overall, especially when I'm editing. I started with this. <laughs> this 
so the first thing that I ordered was the, the what is going on? So I just did some damage at the Sephora sale as an afterpay girly Fenty Beauty Scrub Daily Brightening Facial Scrub Mini Body Scrub. So this is the only thing that I didn't like about this because the body scrub should have been bigger than the facial scrub. This is so small for the whole body. I got the MAC Stack Mascara. got these two red lipsticks from the Sephora collection. I am not a red lipstick girly at all. When I was younger, I used to hate red lipstick, but I decided to get some red lipstick because I'm grown, I'm 24, and I just feel like it's such a sexy look. But I do believe that my life's purpose is to use my voice to help people. I'm going to start my intro and then get you guys to introduce yourselves and then, okay, all right. Hey guys, welcome to Shy Talks. So today I have two special guests, but just to get into today's episode, I want my two lovely guests to kind of introduce themselves um and this is just one of the ways that you can get yourself out there this is my social media in general just the the route that i have to take because i believe that there's a bigger purpose to this this is what we have this is what we're working with okay move you guys a little bit more back And I want to put on this jacket. I got this jacket and I haven't worn it yet. And I haven't took photos in it. So I'm thinking to wear it. There's some makeup on it. I'm going to take something to wipe that off right now together. Just taking off that makeup. what i was thinking and it's giving mode of sport put that thing in sport like a per can you be learned lessons in a painful way or like in a in a way that's uncomfortable or like does it always have to be learned through like just loving oh my god you learn so many valuable life lessons by pain and I think that's the reason why pain is attached to those life lessons so that you feel them and it really wakes you up. I'm going to give you guys an example. My first heartbreak ever, you know, my first boyfriend, my first real relationship. I loved him. I thought we were going to spend our lives together. And then he cheated on me and it was painful. I cried for days. I was in the house. I was overeating, gaining weight. And we eventually broke up and the, the relationship was done. I had to pick myself up. And when I picked myself up, I picked up my self-esteem to see that I was, I was really on the floor. So I, I believe that was a painful lesson. Like I survived, I'm here. I learned a lot. Lessons do sometimes require pain. All right, guys, I'm all dressed. I feel so cute. This is the birthday dress. I'm gonna do like a full body photo. Um, but yeah, I love this color on me. It's just giving me like warm vibes. So what would be your advice to a person going through heartbreak? The one advice that I would give to somebody right now is to really feel your emotions. Don't try to get over them quickly. Really spend time by yourself. Really reflect on that relationship. Now that we're like talking about this, how often does your mind go on autopilot? I hate being a fucking adult. I hate doing this. I hate it. It used to be all the time. My brain was at autopilot. It was whatever I was doing at the time and I didn't think about anything else but that and a lot of that was your brain's kind of in survival mode and you're like I'm just trying to make it I'm just trying to get by I'm just trying to do what I have to do and again that's basically survival mode you say like a lot of people are in survival mode a lot of people are because life is hard trauma is a big thing a lot of people need therapy and if you don't take care 
of your health, especially your mental health, your brain doesn't know anything else but to be on autoplay mode and to get what you have to get done. Your brain is, I have to get this done, and if it's not getting done, then everything fuck up. Like, I have to get this done. Who's gonna do it if I don't? As we just came back to the hotel. <laughs> so we're literally doing the mad dash. Try to catch the water taxi. Where is my... Where's my bag? Is it there? Mad dash. We, we are trying to make this water taxi and we were coming from dinner and the guy's like, yo, one is leaving in two minutes. And we just changed our outfits and we're, doing <laughs> we're trying to catch these people. Do you think like a lot of people should be harder on themselves? Should or shouldn't? Should be harder on themselves. No, I think the opposite. And one thing we have to understand is that we cannot control life. We cannot control other people. We can only control ourselves. So no matter what you do, the circumstances are going to be the circumstances one way or another. If something's not for you, it's going to leave. If something's for you, you're going to attract it and you're going to attract more of it. You can't control anything. We have to remember like we're just doing our best. Like we are just doing our best. I mean, that'd be a cute little spot, uh, like late night. Oh, do you want to go to Chuck's tonight? I don't know. Yeah, so I'm going to head to the library because it's time to do a rebrand. And honestly, I've been rebranding my life, but I want to rebrand myself on social media as well. Dealing with heartbreak, do you, and you're going through your period of kind of like a monk mode where you're almost like to yourself <laughs> is it good to just like isolate yourself self from like everybody isolate for a period of time a certain period of time just to spend time with yourself because a lot of times when you are surrounded by people family friends or just loved ones in general you can tend to just you know care for them naturally because you love them right right now through a heartbreak you need to care for you right now do you, do you think that uh, what you're doing is wasting time that like you should have started this earlier do you feel like you have wasted time like you should have like you should have been done this at 18 or like when you're younger or like so there's times that I do feel like damn I should have did this instead I think about all of that with feeling like regret of not taking certain opportunities or just in general looking back in the past just just really no point because you have to focus on the now and your future and also i was gonna say something and i just jumped out what you did in the past up until now your present mm -hmm. everything kind of led you to this moment so sometimes certain things actually had to happen in order for you to get to where you're you were supposed to be or to that to this moment and i just believe that like if you keep working and if you keep trying like eventually you're gonna be pushed onto your path you know so is it really wasting time if you have so much experience and knowledge and you got to learn and you got to learn so much of whatever you did in the past you know and you got to and now you can bring that to your present and take all the knowledge and experience like basically what i'm trying to say is like maybe whatever happened was supposed to happen to push you to this to this point i'm feeling so much better now that i did my makeup so i'm gonna try these snacks out for you guys well just a kit kat because it's like I want to know what they taste like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm. They're good. They definitely taste like matcha, like off rip. How would you deal with being alone? My body is aching i only haven't been to hot yoga for a full week it's like i took a month off my body is sore it's like in a good way so i took such a big break last week when life seems to cave in for me i just tend to kind of neglect my self-care i'm back on it this week 
The thing that I like about hot yoga, first of all, you're working out in this really hot room. You already feel like you're in a sauna. It's just kind of relaxing. And then you have an instructor instructs you on what to do. It's kind of like a personal training. I'm not a gym girly. I tried to be a gym girly so many times, but I'm not consistent in the gym. I don't know what to do when I get there. I don't know how to push myself as well. Edit the vlog. I'm almost done right now the vlog is at 19 minutes i'm trying to make it 30 minutes at least you guys know that editing is such a long process for me i got my kombucha this is like a healthy soda it's really good for the guts and i've just been loving drinking kombucha i like to call it a lonely season this is a season for you and you're supposed to take care of yourself right now Try new hobbies, try new places to eat, take yourself on dates, try to be creative if you're creative. Do something that can fill up your own cup right now. When you were lonely, like what got you feeling happy? My makeup turned out really, really good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with myself. Just, just it, ah! Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm Lip gloss. I don't know how to pose. I'm okay. gonna make my tripod go all the way back. Let's see what we have. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? I like this. Fix the pants a little bit. Maybe my body is just Let's try some photos. Ah! As my camera is about to die, I'll finish up taking photos and I'll show you guys when I'm done. For me, I'm creating CPT, Shy's Private Thought, the podcast. I'm trying to put all my energy into this right now. The podcast. Yeah. What what benefits will uh, the pers the viewers get? I said this podcast is really for people. I'm gonna try my hardest to put out stories and experiences and want to give advice to somebody that really needs it. Maybe I could just be that light for somebody in their life. I mean, when I just think about like what I want to do, I just know that I want to be a voice for somebody and I just want to inspire people. Well, I want to help people. I just don't know how to do that yet. Being your, your inner child who like is it just a feeling that like it just happens if your inner child can come out around somebody that's a really good sign if you can laugh and smile and you know just be silly and fun you don't have to be so serious and and, and feel like you're on edge or have this a lot of anxiety if you could just be um, that's a really good sign that someone is meant for you that i never thought about that um dogs <laughs> are fucked up <laughs> big 22 mm, what was your proudest moment my proudest moment. I suck at doing hair. I was gonna ask my mom to do it, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just try it, Ting. So I'm gonna take these pieces. Probably no. My hair also needs to come out. Can you guys believe I had this hairstyle for like a month? I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself because the old me would have took the shit out like immediately. I literally suck at hair. Like makeup I can do, but hair, oh my goodness. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Taking a risk is something you, you enjoy doing? Not necessarily. It's essential for growth. If you keep doing the same thing that you're doing, you're gonna get the same result. So you have to push yourself to get out your comfort zone. Makeup, hair, and outfit. I'll give you guys like a better look in a second, but this is my makeup. Honestly, today has been a lot. It's been stressful. I stressed about almost everything today. I didn't get to vlog 
it because I was stressing and I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. But my nail also broke. I don't know if you guys can see the crack. This is the outfit. I wanted to feel like a Barbie. And that is exactly how I feel. I feel I feel very pretty though. Even with the cracked nail that I, you know, just got my nails done yesterday and it broke. Anyways. <laughs> Welcome to 23. There's people that take risks every single day. There's people that are in positions that they shouldn't be in, but because they took the risk, they are in that position. You have to take that risk. It's true, it's true. I heard something that said um, people live the same 12 months every single year. Just because they're not taking the risk. Because they won't take a risk. To you, happy birthday, dear Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Woo! Thank you guys! For someone in a negative mindset, can't see uh, anything but negativity, how would you encourage them to, like, you know, see the light? It's probably because you don't have a lot of positive experiences. Go make some new experience. Oh, go have some fun. If you've never been on vacation before, like go on, like book a vacation, you know, call your friend, have jokes, have laughs. So this is the thing. When you put yourself in positive experiences, your mind is so present at that moment. You're not thinking about anything negative. That's why people like to have fun because it, it automatically takes them out of whatever they're going through. Start creating new experiences for yourself. <laughs> oh. The vlog can't see the final result to my birthday. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, she's doing like a... So sometimes you might have to find joy in just simple things, you know? Let's say you go to Tim Hortons for coffee. Maybe you take yourself to Starbucks, you know, and get like the newest thing on the menu and, and taste it. And, you know, that's a positive experience, especially if the drink is good. And if it's not, then you have something to talk about. We're in a recession. Everything's expensive, you know? There's a lot of people that they're not paying rent, but they're paying rent and mental health. In that case, you just want to get out the house. You can go for walks. You can go for run. You know, I promise you, you'll feel 10 times better. If all your media was to get deleted and your podcast were to go, what are three pieces of information that you would want people to know? I want people to... I decided to vlog for the whole week. I'm currently editing the vlog. Um, I'm feeling cute. Here, I you. Look in single women who, you know, are merry uppers and dater uppers into a situation <laughs> that was, as she said, such a blessing. It's sad, but it's the truth. It is. Guys, I'm still at the library and I'm just editing now. Um, I did a bunch of research. Everything that I filmed this morning, I decided to just edit it now. Encouraged to no, it's more like this. I would hope that people would feel less alone and know that maybe certain experiences that you might have thought that nobody else has been through because that's what happens a lot of times when we go through life and we have certain experiences, we think we're the only person in the world, and it's like. No, other people have been through it too. So I would want people to feel like, oh, she's been through that too. I can relate to her. Or she was able to say something or explain something in a way that I understand or I resonate more with. But I would hope that someone takes something from it and it can benefit their life in some type of way. So that's one. Two. I would hope that I just motivate people to keep going in their life, like even if they, they hate their life or things are not going the way they, they want in their life right now, um, that's two. And then three. All right, so that's all the questions I had for you today. So that is it for this episode of CPT. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know how you guys feel about this episode. Like any advice, leave it down in the comment section below. I want to start getting into like giving you guys advice. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode.